place I want to be. Camp Wapiti is the place I want to be. Come down with me to the place we want to be. With all that said, it's the greatest place in all of the land. And we'll play all day, and we'll sing all night, and we'll sleep real good to morning light. We'll do it all together, cause we won't right, yeah. This is person, place, or thing. My name is Joseph Souls. Please guess down below what things I am acting out. Two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Is 
What were we acting out? Because I have no clue, man. I believe that we were acting out Captain America. I believe so as well. Joseph? Yes. Yes. In a uh, foam block pool. You know, the one that you jump off of the trampoline to get into and that cushions your fall and stuff? Sponge pit? Almost. Sponge pit. It was a ball pit. Oh. Oh. Yikes. Twist of fate. <laughs> Can't believe it. And, um... And I think the third one was a, um... I'm trying to think of the techno term for it, but it's like a sanitary cloth so that you can bind wounds with the vent or put pressure on the wound to prevent the bleed. Like a bandage? Yes. A oh. bandage. Hurrah! Okay. Right. Hey! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Woo! We did it! High five. So like a bandage yeah. isn't like the Yeah, thing. just the regular bandage. Oh. Okay. It just <laughs> How did you do at home? Hope you did well. Enjoy the next bit of improv. See you. Yeah. Have a great one, guys. The camp watch means to me is being out in nature and being able to see my friends. Go. Camp Wapiti is a place for my kids and their friends and our family to learn about God and to develop relationships with other people. What Camp Wapiti means to me is having fun and playing pranks on other cabins and having and worshiping Jesus. Hi, my name is Keith. I wasn't at Camp Wapiti right at the beginning, but I was close enough to the beginning that the paint was still drying when I first showed up. Uh, I've been there as a camper. I've been there as part of a camp committee. I've been there as a counselor. I am now there as a parent who goes to family camp and a parent of kids who go to camp. So it's about five or six different things that I see as positive for the camp and for me it was one of those ones where it's a chance where well we can meet God wherever we wherever we are but it's a good chance just to meet God out there with a group of like-minded people. Thanks. Hey this is uh, Bill Peters grand uh, Daniel and Luke's grandpa. It was a privilege to help clean up the camp one time for the campers to arrive in a safe position where they could learn about Jesus. Okay. Thank you for having Camp Wapiti, a great place for boys and girls to learn about Jesus. We have enjoyed being there as well. Grandma and Grandpa Peters, or Grandma Peters only. Hey everyone, Caleb here. Thanks for joining in on the Camp Wapiti Show. I've really appreciated uh, being able to do this for you guys and hopefully it reminds you of camp. It's been also really good to see some of you out there in our in-person events. Uh, we will be planning an in-person event, a meeting down at camp actually, so you and your family can come and hang out at camp. Things have really opened up in the last couple of weeks uh, as we're able to see, uh, do stuff together. Some of you have been coming out for that, which is great. But uh, I mean, as you can see out and about, I mean, people are driving, people are in the grocery stores, people are doing stuff, and uh, we can certainly go down and have a decent day at camp, uh, keeping mindful of physical dis distancing and uh, all of that. Uh, I've got a really neat video coming up for you I wanted you guys to watch. We haven't had a ton of nature content because we haven't been out in nature as much. Nature Boy gave us a great video the other day with the primrose. Really was happy to have that. Um, but I've got a different video here for you. And it'll be interesting if you like nature. And it'll be interesting if you like math. What do math and nature have to do with each other? You might say, well, quite a bit actually as it turns out. Um, math... Is interesting it's, it's actually everywhere I mean everything where you look you can describe the world any part of the world can be described with numbers and how they relate to each other um, some of you out there really love math some of you don't like math at all but that's a school the fact is that math is everywhere even in nature and it shows that we have a good creator a good designer who is incredibly wise who made this amazing world on just like a house is built with uh, a structure and a foundation. Oh, there's a big truck driving by. Just as math, the world is built with, a, or a house is built with structure and a foundation, math can be described as the function or the, the structure and foundation of so much of what we do in life. So even if we're spending time looking at trees and how they grow or plants, and how they grow, we might notice some patterns 
in their growth, we might notice that they can be described by certain numbers. And this next video shows us some really neat information about how numbers and nature can play together. And maybe you will say, oh, I've seen this before. I've seen this in plants, or I've seen this in God's creation before. Some patterns, some cool patterns. So I hope you enjoy this video. Take it away. Every day we see patterns in the world around us. They testify to the careful design and hard work that produced them. But what about the patterns that are not made by man, but appear in the natural world? What do they reveal? Consider the snowflake. These tiny crystals are formed when water vapor in a cloud condenses directly into ice. As the crystals grow, delicate and beautiful patterns emerge. Look more closely at the pattern within a single snowflake. The crystalline arms branch, then branch again and again at increasingly smaller sizes. Mathematicians studying this concept of self-similarity use the term fractal to describe a shape that has a consistent, repeated pattern at multiple scales. Where else can fractal patterns be seen in the natural world? Trees can demonstrate a degree of self-similarity. The trunk splits into limbs, which split into branches, then twigs, and so on. We see a similar type of fractal pattern in the leaves of a fern. A different type of pattern, but one that is also a fractal, can be seen in the shell of the chambered nautilus. As it grows, the nautilus builds new, larger chambers and seals off the older, smaller ones that it no longer needs. The result is a spiral that is fractal in nature, maintaining a similar shape as it increases in size. Natural spiral patterns of this type can be observed in many places, from the cloud formations of a hurricane to tiny shells on the beach from the arrangement of the stars in a galaxy to the seeds on a sunflower head. What causes these spiral patterns? In the case of the sunflower, it has to do with the specific angle at which new plant growths form. This angle, approximately 137.5 degrees, is sometimes called the golden angle. It results in an ideally compact arrangement with no wasted space and creates distinct spiral patterns. If the sunflower grew not at the golden angle, but at a different angle, for example 140 degrees, we would see radial arms instead, and the seed arrangement would not be as efficient. As we look even closer, we can discern a fascinating mathematical relationship between this golden angle and a series of numbers called the Fibonacci sequence. In this progression, each number is determined by adding the previous two numbers together. Interestingly, these Fibonacci numbers can often be observed in plants. This sunflower has 34 spirals in one direction and 55 going the other way. Both of these numbers are in the Fibonacci sequence. A pineapple will often have 8 or 13 spirals. Flowers with a spiral growth pattern tend to have a Fibonacci number of petals. Why are these numbers significant? As the Fibonacci sequence progresses, the relationship between successive numbers comes closer and closer to defining the exact value of the golden angle. This intriguing mathematical relationship between the golden angle of plant growth and the number of resulting spirals reminds us that the patterns we see in the natural world are not merely accidental. Each one is a reflection of order and careful design. As we take time to examine these patterns more closely, we are filled with a sense of wonder at the workmanship of their designer, Jehovah God. 
for his invisible qualities are clearly seen from the world's creation onward because they are perceived by the things made. Ah, oh, man, that was a pretty quick setup for this outdoor movie theater of absolute entertainment. I'm sure glad this family uh, decided to rent it from us. <laughs> oh, looks like the theater's set up. Better save some chairs for all my friends who are always late. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so excited for this one. Hey, Connor. Hey! Oh, I don't as I thought you were going to be. Not Well, you know, we got lots of busy things to do. Okay, well, like, well, let's start. Well, let's... No. <laughs> Where's Cherry? Well, she's she's always... Always... Sorry, I'm late! Does anyone she's... want a hard-boiled egg? <laughs> I brought some hard-boiled eggs. <laughs> hard -boiled eggs. Uh, good. But I have popcorn. You have popcorn? You have popcorn? I would love some popcorn! Was that like, from Matt Pocket? From your pocket, yarn? It's the That's most convenient a, place to put it. Odd choice of movie snack. Oh, guys, guys. The You're previews. an odd choice the previews. of movie snack. Oh, yeah. The previews. We I can't love the previews. Don't you love it how like you pay for a movie and they still decide to put advertising in? Isn't that just the They're way it is? They're basically the best part anyway. Yep, we shut out to capitalism. Part. I think I paid for a movie, <laughs> thank you. Not the previews. Obviously. Oh, oh, I think it's starting. It's starting. I thought we were watching Emperor's New Groove. This is an Emperor's New Groove. Emperor's this New Groove. I thought we came for Iron Man. I thought we were watching Spider Man. Spider Man? Oh, that's better. Who coordinated this? <laughs> were there Who did Jake's? coordinate this? Did we not decide on something? Jared, is it time yet? Oh, uh, I don't have my watch. Let me check. Uh, is it time yet? Mm -hmm. Let me ask Zoe. Is it time yet? So, uh, do you know if it's Is it time yet? Do we need to stop? I don't need to stop. No. He's from something else. It's not time yet. It's not time. Oh, it's not? Okay. No. Um, it's not time. Oh, it's not time. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know. Does anyone have their phone? We should check IMDb, because I don't know. Where yeah, is this guy from? It's going to drive me nuts. It's going to drive me nuts, too. Look at the back of the movie. Well, then what's the fun in that? <laughs> <laughs> That's really rude, Gina. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <Well, laughs> I don't understand my pain. <sighs> Do you guys ever think of like how interesting like the lighting of scenes play into like the psychology of things? I never think about that. <laughs> this camera is like obviously the forefront of the scene and talking a lot and look how high and mighty the lighting's dark around him, making what oh, uh, evil what? the other characters are all right. Uh, what are you talking about? Kate Connor? Is it, is it time yet? I, mm -hmm. the oh, time this is, is probably the best scene. Gina, is it yeah, time yet? This is getting really good. I'm, I'm good. Mm. I still can't tell what movie this is. This is. <laughs> it's not time yet. I'm not sure it's either, not but I'm enjoying it. Uh, it's not time yet. I bet the guy's brother's gonna no. die soon. Don't say that. Oh, I hate it when you ruin movies. I'm just speculating. Well, speculate in your brain. <laughs> <laughs> We'd all appreciate that, okay? Well, I would appreciate if you're all silent while we were watching the movie. Well, I'm What's sorry that I can't watch stop movie? running can't my discuss mouth. Why are we watching it not? Yeah, like, we want that movie go watch it in your basement. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting really annoyed at this. Well, is it time yet? Gina, is it time yet? It's not time yet. It's not time yet. Okay, it's, it's not time yet. Oh, babe. So good. No. How do none of us have a way to tell time yet? Are you sure? Do, Zoe, do you want too much to hard boil all day? No, I, I don't true. like Probably. that. Thank you. That's a good idea. Oh. Sound great. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but the, the light is so bright from your phone. Right. It's just no good. But we're outside now, so. Oh, that's fair. It's still <laughs> we are outside with this lovely fire, watching this lovely movie on this lovely screen from Absolute Entertainment. <laughs> it's pretty lovely, and the definition <laughs> is pretty dang awesome. Pretty dang awesome, I would say. So you eat can a boiled egg every time they say lovely, lovely, right? Well, here you go. You can have a boiled egg. Yes. <laughs> You're welcome. I think the crunchy is just so Those are a little loud for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't often feel them. Oh, it looked like you 
peeled it into your hand and then ate it. <laughs> <laughs> I told them it was going to be crunchy. Good source of calcium, right? Okay, who actually picked this movie? Is it one? Is it I haven't figured it out yet. I have no idea. Jones, is it time? Oh, let me check. Is it time yet? I don't know. Is it time? Because if it just is it time yet? I hope. It's time. It's time. Oh, is it? Yes. It's time. Yeah, it's time. Yay. <sighs> so much better. Yeah. Yeah. Let's <laughs> do like a hot tub movie theater thing.